Autodesk 2013 3DS Max. I'm just going to show you a quick uh, tune on the, the biped, the biped so you can actually animate characters. A lot of people don't actually realize that the actual animation of characters, you don't need any plugins really to actually do so. It's all in uh, 3DS Max already. So all you have to do is go to the go not to geometry not to um, all of these ones go to the last one which is called systems click that button then click biped and here you can actually um, make your biped you can give it like here's the neck links here give it different links how many uh, neck bones you want it to give it uh, spine links leg links etc etc you can make it have a tail you can do all types of things with it but before you do that you have to drag and drop it out so you just go to the center and then drag and drop drag up and then you create this animation this biped here as you can see I'm just gonna go full screen with that now you can change the net links like I was saying uh, spine links leg links uh, tail links it can have a tail if you want to create some sort of monster uh, ponytail links etc etc you can have two ponytails finger links as standard they come with one finger so you can actually put a few more fingers on it obviously as you can see um, and what you also can do is um, make this character you can just scale him up a bit which sometimes can be a pain because you don't know how to scale it sometimes but um, you can scale it up uh, let's have a look um, once um, once you you're happy with that you can do all the scaling and stuff what you have to do is go to motion click the button motion and click the figure mode which is um, under biped click figure mode and now you can do the scaling like make his head bigger uh, make that the arms or legs whatever stretch them out whichever way you want it make them bigger uh, obviously I'm just showing you the actual biped itself but you can actually you will actually be putting this in your own animated character but I'm just showing you the biped and how you can actually check animations pre prior to actually putting it in to a character. So once we got once you got this chap how you want him, big head or whatever, big body, bigger arm, whatever. Um, you can actually what you do now is you'll actually load here. You would load a file which is a, a biped file it, you can get these files for free on the Autodesk site um, if I go to where I've got mine uh, where have I got I tell you what let's go to the site um, and this will download uh, the bipeds in um, zip file for anything above 2010 so you just download that and open them up and open them up uh, open when done it's quite a large file so it might take a while right it's finished downloading and it's uh, saved as under samples so you go into samples uh, and then you just click for example motion BIP and this is all the different uh, things it can do so let's get it to um, fight oh see this is a this is what does happen sometimes see see that um actual um, file name is dot fig yeah so what you have to do is cancel that yeah and see this little button here this is the culprit here you have to take that off that's where people go wrong take that just unclick that right and now press load 
and it will load up BIP files. This is where you, you a lot of people get frustrated because they just can't find it. So go to motion, let's go back to the fight modes. And now we've got different, we've got all the BIPs which are ready to use. Um, you can check them here, the BIPs, you can check them here, or just say open. And what will happen is that now this, this geezer here will actually be able to do some fighting. And if you can see at the bottom here, all the keyframes have actually been loaded without you having to do anything. So if you press uh, start on your animation, this guy can do all types of stuff now. He's throwing a grenade. See that? Right, and if you, and you just stop that. Now you can load a different file, get punched, open that, play that. It's getting punched in the face. Um, another thing is, is once you've loaded that, sometimes you want some sort of sequence. You want, you, you see a few of them and you say, yeah, I want him to do this, then I want him to dive, and then I want him to jump, etc., etc. Uh, this is where it gets a bit tricky. What you've got to do is, uh, let's have a look. What you've got to do is, um, you go to this um, biped section again, but you have to look under motion flow mode motion flow mode so click that button there now you're in the motion flow um, section you do not load a fly file you do not append you do not save what you do you go to the show graph section yeah click that and then another button um, thing pops up and in here you want to create multiple is it no wait there isn't it load okay create multiple clips so click that now what you can do is you can actually make let's go back to the fight section fights you can uh, load many of them so what we want him to do do you want him to cartwheel and then punch okay open that one right and go back again and then he would get punched and then open again and um, maybe gun dive and gun fight and you can select them I'm just pressing the control as well so you can just select all you know as many as you want basically you can even go to another folder after that and do that so basically we've connected um, a few now but now what you can do now is actually put it in different, a different order, so you know which um, order it is in. So, um, like for example, at the moment it's in this order. But let's close this, and um, create the clip. So let's just close this up now. And now what you have to do is define the clip. So you go to this little button here, click define clip. Uh oh. Where's the clips gone? Okay, let's open it, it back here and just click define clip. Create new script, redefine. What the f. The hell is this? Oh, this is hogwash, man. Fuck this. It's a joke thing. Right. Um, so we're back here. Just click. What you click is define script. Uh, just ignore that. Um, it defines 
script will actually tell you which um, order these actual bipeds, um, these BIP files will actually come in. So for example, if we wanted it to cartwheel, then slap, you just click that one and then you'll click that one. So now the arrow goes to there and then this one to that one and then, then he starts gunfighting and then he gets punched and then he gun dives, for example. You can have it in any order you want. You can even make him gun dive twice. So you just click it again, right? So it goes back to gun dive or even three times, yeah? And then he can go back to cartwheeling. Do you see what I mean? And then he can cartwheel twice. So you can you can just keep clicking to define in the script to tell um, tell the computer what you want it to actually do. Now, once that's done, you can close this off, and then in this script, you can actually see what it's going to be doing. So at zero zero to sixty four frames, it's going to be cartwheeling and then slaps, and then one hundred and two it punches, loops, etc., etc. You can see it all here. And what you can do is just play that back just to see what's going on to see it actually work so you can see him just doing his thing with his long arm and his short arm crazy man and the long tail I don't know what kind of character would be built around this but you can see him doing his thing so this is I haven't done any keyframing or anything myself I've just actually got um, some scripts and I've put them together in a way where I would like it to be. See, he's gun diving, gun diving, cartwheel, uh, cartwheel, and then it's back to the beginning. I think. Look, he's even showing you the transitions down there. So it's quite handy. Um, it's quite handy the motion flow. So we have to do is get the correct um, bips, and you're laughing really. You don't have to do much um, in a way of animation because animation can take up a lot of time. But there's a lot of it that's out there already. So thanks for watching and I would like you to rate, comment and subscribe so I can bring you some more tips and tricks to help your